If you're in your 20s, you don't know what it feels like to get off the phone angry. It's, it, you don't know what it feels like because you still have that anger built. You don't know what it feels like to slam a house phone. You don't even know what a house phone is. Right? House phones used to be this weird yellow or green. And I just remember my dad, I don't remember what, just getting so mad that he would start smashing the receiver or he'd slam it down. The phone itself weighed 50, 60 pounds that you could use it as a self-defense weapon. If you thought somebody was in your house, you'd grab your whole phone and be like, all right, I'm gonna smack you. And with the receiver, you could beat somebody with it, then choke them with the cord. And as they're passing out, all they're hearing, if you'd like to make a call, please hang out the phone. You don't know what it's like to slam stuff. Like, even parents now can't slam things. If you, you know, if you're a kid in the, like, 70s or 80s and you had that minivan, everybody knows what that Astro van from the 80s sounds like when your parents would slam that door. When your parents are mad, they go, kush, kush, and then as fast as they could, they would just, <laughs> right? You could tell your mom was mad because she didn't even give you the finger's feet warning. She would just, <laughs> You can't slam stuff now. If you're a parent, you get mad at your kids. You're like, you do not act that way in public. Then you gotta hit the button and watch it slowly close. <laughs> <laughs> Who put their hand in front of the sensor? <laughs> you gotta hit the button again, rewatch it slowly close. Reopens, put your hand in front of the sensor one more time. Watch what happens to you. I was thinking back to when I was a kid. I have no memory of any type of car seat when I was a kid. I have zero memory of, I don't know how my parents got me around as a kid, right? But I do have memories of being a little kid in my parents' car. I remember waking up a lot of times in the middle of the night in the back seat of my parents' car, walking into the house going, so you brought in groceries, just forgot how you had a kid? Yeah, I woke up because I was shivering because it's 42 degrees outside. So did I, I guess I just don't eat dinner? Is that what happens? So you, just... you know what, I got pictures tomorrow. I'm just gonna wear this 11 shirt. I'm good, thank you. Hopefully your day went okay, okay. I don't remember any type of car seat. I remember going to my grandma or grandpa's house, literally sitting in the front seat armrest of my grandpa's car, just going, this seat is awesome. Look it, I'm higher than grandpa's compass. Pre-drink holder, that's when your grandpa would open up his can of beer. <laughs> Hand it to you, you take a couple swigs. Then he lights up his Paul Mall no filter. <laughs> I love Paul Mall no filter. Sure hope this secondhand smoke doesn't crap out Johnny's face 42 years from now. <laughs> like what are the like the, the, the car seat laws now? They're kind of insane. I think your kid still has to be in a car seat if your kid's 5'7", 145 pounds. <laughs> I feel sorry for anybody who's got a kid who wrestles 98 pounds varsity. <laughs> that poor kid is in a car seat going, I'm going to regionals! <laughs> I'm seated third and I'm in a car seat. I'm not going to prom in a car seat. I'm not going to prom in a car seat. Yeah, you are, buddy. I don't know what to tell you. You're gonna be in the car seat. I'll vacuum out all the goldfish crackers out of there for you so you can go, but... And your date's a little taller. She can be in a booster chair, but you're... You gotta be in a car seat, my, my, my buddy. 
Well then, can I face forward like a big boy? <laughs> guys, thank you so much for coming out. I really appreciate you guys.